Lalu pele kango my low lima Uuku uma yalo wanganga kasi siva Uwa kale kai mi let's go Yeah Say baby come and let's go Yeah Baby girl wana uwe le kali Fa akusha uwe ile masinga Isu sulu my lelangi You already know lengu uwa fa kali Kili alo kingo peyo lai Oke ta u my lelangi So kali sunga au my yapo wa u They are low for funny if he are a fat He's so kind of sugar, oh my young boy They are low for money if he are a fat Since my low line in life, I almost say yo oi 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 Fuck so oi, little me no one Clocking back into American Samoa 2023 round number two So this time we're headed over to uh, the island of Manua To get those sirens up and operational we're gonna definitely be getting back into the water. That uh, goes without saying. Check out our turtle friend. We're gonna be uh, finishing up the uh, siren maintenance and uh, checking out uh, some new uh, touristy things to do here in the main on the main island of American Samoa. So stay tuned. Where it's about to get crazy. Never know what's gonna happen in Manua. Eight hour ship ride. Hopefully gonna take the plane back never know in Manoa so let's go let's get busy we're clocking in right now Kaimi, let's go yeah say baby come and let's go yeah 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 say ne awa ma sigo solo muli my locality a fai ke sigo uwa kale kaimi let's go it's your boy mr unknown my lonely my let's go let's go baby solo kasi sigo my fire wing i bring the body closer to my yeah i really need ya to see no low All right, good morning. <clears throat> we made it to the island of Ta'u. So took the uh, ship over here. Eight hours on the ship last night. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was a brutal uh, ride. It was uncomfortable and uh, rough, but we made it. So we got our ASPA crew here. We're gonna be uh, doing all the satellite hookups and doing some corrective maintenance on this island. We gotta jump over to the island of Ofu on the little Aaliyah boat. And then uh, we're just gonna get busy, get these sirens operational for the islands of Manua. So here we are at the port, unloading the equipment for this island. And remember, ASPA also has to do the welding of the solar brackets. So they brought their high reach bucket truck over here. They're gonna start on this island and then uh, wait a week until the ship comes back to get them to head over to the other island. So a lot of logistics in play to get this work done, but ASPA, American Signal, we're on top of it and we're gonna get it done. So, and hopefully we'll take a little look around. I have a flight tomorrow, so it's gonna be a quick trip, but Let's take a look around the island of Manua. We've arrived in Ofu. All right, let's go. All right, this is the bridge that connects both of the islands in Ofu. So, yes, there are two separate islands, and this is the bridge that connects them both. about paradise. 
paradise? Yeah, I think you found it right here in Opal. Beautiful. All right, getting ready to go on the Aaliyah back over to Ta'u and finished up here in Ofu. So let's get ready to go on the the SS Minnow. You ready to go on the trip? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go back to Ta'u. Good luck. <laughs> Come on, say Come on, uncle. See you. All right, 45 minute ride. Got four sites to do here. Got some people fishing for our dinner. And we made it safely back. So another good trip. Let's keep it going. Alright, as part of the assessment we're going to go up and take a look and see how bad actually the corrosion is for the uh, speaker head um, this one looks pretty bad so we're going to take Aspa's bucket truck go up and take a look all right inspection of K01 in Manua in Ta'u still and just spent the night at the most wonderful bed and breakfast probably in all of Ta'u and all joking aside uh, sweet woman 77 years old here at her bed and breakfast and the uh, hospitality is second to none so dinner at night breakfast in the morning great conversation and it was a pleasure to know that these sirens in Ta'u and the people of Ofu are going to be safe with the work that we did. So waiting to get picked up, headed to the airport, going to be taking the flight back to Pongo and continuing on our mission of getting these sirens operational. So we're about halfway through the trip. Let's keep going and keeping American Samoa safe. So let's go. All right. Job done in Manua. Took the boat here and now we're taking the airplane back. So let's go. Puddle jumper. There's the captain. 
got to carry your bags out to the plane. Okay, you go see them one egg. One egg? Yeah, one egg. First of all, Do I leave the bag here? Yeah, just leave it back. One egg. Do you need my ticket or no? No, it's alright. Uh, I don't know what's Hello, Captain. Hey, hello. How's everything today? Good. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Mama. All right, we made it back, back in Pongo. So let's get back to work on these sirens and uh, we'll keep everybody up to date on the status of the trip. But uh, about halfway through, the new trip went great, and now we're back in Pongo. Yeah. <laughs> When I was if it what if you're Momolia too? Department of Homeland Security, we're reaching out to the public. How to be tsunami ready so you won't have to panic. Lalu lu fa tas ye mama i o se avenga. Ye mala 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 ya tunu umano for tapena. That's the vision, we're on the mission. Saving lives, that's our commitment. Paying attention, your safety wise, we take it serious. Making the right decisions, stay alert, you better listen. This educational message will make a big difference. Our main objective, perspective, we'll lay it all out. So please allow us to nourish your mind, no doubt. Let's stand together for the sake of our community Cause when it comes to your safety, it's our priority Tell everybody get to day off hike we're going up to the lookout point where the cannons are stationed for Pango Pango Bay and uh, of course World War II the American Samoa was uh, really a footprint for in the South Pacific for the US military so you've seen the pillboxes uh, along the coastline well we got a cannon uh, point up here that uh, protected the Pongo Bay. So I'm gonna take you up, let's take a look at it, see what it's all about. Let's get up this hike and, uh, and take a look at Pongo Bay and the lookout for the cannon uh, vantage point and protection point for Pongo Pongo Bay. Here we go. I'm sure this was a bunker for the artillery. Not, not completely sure, but pretty sure on the trail. All right, got the water tower. I remember that from last time. I was up here before with a couple of guys. And I think, yep, you're gonna see some steps here. Make the turn, 
and then we should be to the lookout. All right, about halfway there. Again, World War II, and this spot right here had to be uh, one of the best advantage points during the war. Take a look. Absolutely intimidating. World War II cannon protecting that bay. Man, what a sight. What a great advantage point up here where you can really see the harbor behind us and just a 360 view of what they were looking at and what they were protecting. What a massive piece of equipment. Pretty cool, a lot of history here. Blunt Point Naval Gun Site, National Historical Historic Landmark. It was actually the monument 1987 National Park Service. Not too much history on it though, but definitely I'm gonna put something up, but Blunt's Point, man, very, very impressive. See your safety, it's our priority. All right, here we are up on the top of uh, Pongo Bay, and uh, this is where the tram car uh, tramway was that went from this side of the bay or the harbor over to the other side. So, unfortunately, and it sits right above Sadie's Hotel, unfortunately, in the 70s, they were having a Flag Day event and uh they had a c-130 come in and drop off a couple of parachutists and uh it actually hooked the uh ram ca uh, car line and took the plane down and, and killed the pilot so there's a little memorial up here to the pilots and uh this is the point over here where the uh and it landed right over used to be called the Rainmaker Hotel. So the, the plane actually landed on part of the hotel. And I don't think anybody on the ground was injured, but uh, the pilots did perish in the, uh, in the event. And I think uh, a couple of parachutists that were in the back also perished. So, and it actually, the memorial has uh, the plane crash of, uh, it was 1980, April 17th, 1980. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty significant little uh, landing up here. And uh, they still have the structure for the tram car. And, and like I said, it overlooks Pongo Harbor. of the top of the uh, memorial up here so what a bird's eye view of the harbor and how cool must it have been to take that tram car across this harbor to the other side 
pretty cool. Now I heard talks that they were thinking about putting that tram car back up. So we're definitely gonna have to stay tuned if that becomes reality because I wanna be the first one on it. Snorkel session, round two, American Samoa. Water looks great. Here we go. So I can take a picture. Yeah. I can take a picture of the turtle. So pretty cool to see them load up the boat tonight and uh, go through a little bit of their training because uh, like I mentioned before, part of flag day is a, well, a big part of flag day is those long boat races. So super cool to see and good luck to the team. Hope you guys do good. Just finished a three mile run. Started out at five o'clock in the brutal, brutal sun. And as you can see now, the skies opened up, torrential downpour. It was really a mind trip to go from that much sun to 
sheets of rain and uh hey i'm already wet so i said why not check out the newly filled pool running 101 oh yeah that's what you call doing an after run plunge all right stay clocked in let's get back to work week number two pretty good week and the team has been doing really good so I think we're gonna take a little bit of time off today to check out this uh, festival that's going on so let's go over there they said there's gonna be some great uh, authentic food and talk a little bit about the culture so let's go check it out did you say up there you're welcoming everybody to the village ah very good thank you during Lent we got to check out the fish market locals say this is the best fish market on island so we're gonna have to check it out see what they got wow this is going to Virginia New York oh, nice. Jersey nice they say this is the best on island oh, sweet. I'm glad. we got our food and it's time to go to work bada bing bada boom so this boat is made out of fiberglass? Yep, this is one of the high techs, it's fiber. Wow, and how many guys sit in this boat? This is a uh, 38. 38 man yep. boat? How fast can it go? It can go faster depending on the, the rowers. Okay. But it's one of the, the fastest ones. And where do you sit? Oh, I sit right here. Number 16? No, oh. 13. 13? Okay. They usually have me in the front over there, but I told them no, I want to be in the back over here. Is this a power position or how do the guys sit? They mostly they have the bigger guys, the stronger guys in the middle. Okay. Uh, that's where the engine of the, the boat. Oh, and they have the CC in the middle. And, uh, <laughs> what are your chances of winning this year? This year? Oh, I'm going to take it. You mark my way. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. All right. So your prediction is you're gonna win this year. I'm gonna win this year. Nice. 2023. That's your year. You see, we don't even want now. Yeah. We're gonna take. We're gonna take. This is the name of our pool. Right here. Wow. That's like our motto right there too: church, family, and the village. And that's our local. Nice. The swordfish. Very cool. All right. Good luck. Thank you.
All right, Samoa, we are done and we are about to clock out, but hey, we had a great time. We got our work done. We actually went to Manua with no issues this trip. We got all the sirens operational. We saw a lot of the island and again, the hospitality of the Samoans and all the guys at Homeland Security, big thumbs up. ASPA, again, rocked it this couple of weeks over in Manua, getting all the welding done for us. So big thumbs up for everybody that helped me out to get this trip done and show me a little bit of your culture and your history. Can't thank you enough. So for now, I'm clocking out, headed back to Jersey. Here we go. Not the right shoes to be hiking in. forget to click the like button don't forget to subscribe because you never know where i'm gonna show up next so until next time i'm clocking out Bye.